Hello everybody, I am Tarun and I am back. Today we will be learning about the nerves in the nervous system. So to the first factor today. Nerves are bundles of long fibers. Nerves are enclosed bundles of long fibers called axons made up of nerve cells. There are two types of nerve cells, neurons and glial cells. Glial cells provide structure and maintain neurons. They keep neurons in their position, deliver nutrients to neurons, destroy germs and eradicate dead neurons and direct axons of neurons. Some types of glial cells produce myelin a substance that covers axons and works as an insulator to facilitate signal transmission. Neurons efficiently send signals as electrochemical waves along the axons to other cells. The second fact for today. There are two types of neurons. Sensory neurons and motor neurons. Light, touch and sound are converted into neural signals by sensory neurons. These are sent back to our CNS, that is the central nervous system, to help the body comprehend and respond to its surroundings. These signals are stimulated by sensory input. Signals are also sent to other parts of the nervous system, transmitting sensory information to the brain or spinal cord. Motor neuron originates in the brain stem. Its cell body is located in the spinal cord and its fiber projects outside the cord to control muscles. In order to stimulate muscles or glands, motor neurons transmit neural signals. The third fact for today. There are approximately 100 billion neurons in your brain. The human brain consists of approximately 100 billion neurons. They collect, examine and store information about internal and external conditions. There are between 1000 to 10,000 synapses present in each neuron which is a total of 1 quadrillion synapses. The neurons in the brain would stretch to more than 950 km if they were lined up. Information flows from one neuron to another across a synapse. A small gap in the synapse separates the neurons. Synapses are extremely important for the functioning of neurons. The fourth fact for today. A newborn baby loses about half of their nerve cells before they are born. A baby loses about half of its neurons before it is born. This process discards neurons that do not receive adequate input from other neurons. Neurons develop at a slower rate as your age increases. It is almost zero in adults. When a child is developing inside the womb of a mother, the rate of neuron development is 2,50,000 neurons per minute. Once a child is born, it will have about 10 million nerve cells. Babies lose half of their nerve cells as they do not have the necessary nutrients to sustain them. A newborn baby does not carry out all the actions of an adult. Therefore, these cells degenerate. The fifth fact for today. If your nerves are damaged, it may be fatal. In order to regulate your internal environment and respond to external environment, your nerves must conduct impulses. Not all neurons in the CNS, that is the central nervous system, can restore themselves, unlike other cells. The nervous system can permanently lose some of its abilities if some neurons perish because of illness or damage. The symptoms of disorders depend on the affected part. The nervous system 
if damaged does not have any cures the sixth fact for today the nervous system can transmit signals at speeds of 400 km per hour your nervous system is a hard and fast worker depending on the types of neurons doing the work the speed of your nerve impulses would vary the fastest traveling speed of a neuron is about 400 km in 1 hour that's roughly the average speed of an aeroplane the axon should be wide and properly insulated so that the nerve impulses can travel swiftly a lot of space and energy is used for this purpose it can only be found in neurons that require immediate transferring of information from one part of the body to another the seventh fact for today your body has 43 pairs of nerves to send messages through your body there are 43 different pairs of nerves which connect the central nervous system that is the cns to every other part of the body out of these 12 pairs are attached to the brain and the other 31 are attached to the spinal cord of these the cluster of nerves located at the base of the spinal cord is known to be the most sensitive there are three types of nerves spinal nerves these nerves carry information obtained from the sensory organs to the spinal cord second association nerves they bring about the assimilation of sensory input and motor output cranial nerves these are the somatic system nerves that transmit information that enters into and emerges from the brain stem the ninth fact for today a fever is your body's way of fighting an infection so when you have an infection different factors activate your hypothalamus the heat control center in your body is caution when the substances are created at the infected site move through the circulatory system and reach the brain this center responds by making the cells work faster this raises the temperature of the body and results in a fever due to the increased rate at which cells work they can create more antibodies to fight the infection their fever also makes body too hot for bacteria to survive in however it also makes you feel sick the 10th fact for today your nervous system helps store your memories at birth your nervous system will contain all the neurons you will ever have however most of the neurons are not connected messages travel repetitively from neuron to neuron and create new connections as an individual grows and learns the brain of a young child is highly adaptable when a part of it gets injured another part can often substitute for it however as you grow older the brain needs to work harder to make new pathways which makes it quite difficult to master new tasks thus many scientists suggest that it is important to keep stimulating the brain by learning new things and making new connections memory is another complex function the tasks that you have performed and learned are primarily processed in the cortex if you sense that this information is important it is passed to other parts of the brain for long term storage and recovery new paths are formed as these messages journey through the brain which serve as the basis of your memory the 11th fact for today the autonomic nervous system has two parts the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems the body is prepared for certain stress 
by the sympathetic nervous system. When something terrifying occurs, this system makes the heart beat quickly in order to send blood quickly to the different body parts that are in need. This system signals the adrenal glands above the kidneys to release adrenaline which provides extra energy to the muscles for a quick escape. This process is known as the body's fight or flight response. In contrast, the body is prepared for rest by the parasympathetic nervous system. In addition, it helps the digestive tract to be mobile so the necessary nutrients are absorbed from your food. Twelfth and the last fact for today. Your spinal cord is a messenger. The spinal cord has three main functions. Hold information, organize and manage reflexes. It also sends information to the brain and receives messages that it sends back. Information from the sensory receptors in the body reaches the spinal cord through the afferent nerves which is sent to the brain and information from the brain is delivered to different muscles and glands via efferent fibers. The spinal cord can independently coordinate reflexes and account for combined functions and communications in the body. In addition, it controls reflex actions. Thank you guys. From the next video, we'll be doing a totally new topic. It will be about the human bones and the skeletal system. Bye guys. I'll meet you at that time.